I live in Hungary in a really small city for more than 30 years and it's really quiet and peaceful and that's what we love with my wife and with our two dogs and two cats. Uh, so we have quite a lot of paws in the household and we basically res rescued personally all of them so we have a really intimate connection with them and basically um, unconditional love that's how I would say we really love to go for big hikes with with the dogs and usually that's when I discover these amazing places and that's what I really love to show with these uh, videos where I'm playing these different DJ sets around the incredible places in Hungary or I actually have a pretty new hobby <laughs> you probably can't tell but I started working out uh, new year new me right <laughs> but the thing is uh, what I realized it's I can be grateful to my own body as well when I when I take care a little bit more of myself with more healthy eating habits or maybe a little bit more uh, sport in my life. And I'm, I'm just feeling much better since I'm doing it. I remember the very first time I listened to Above and Beyond's music. Um, it was about, Jesus Christ, it was about almost 20 years ago. And back in those days, the radio show called, was called Trance Around the World. So I felt like wow, this is something so different. And I literally felt that I, I just arrived home. And ever since, I feel the same. And it's so great to be part of the Engineer family ever since. With the Ruby EP, I followed the same concept. I started with the Emerald EP, that I basically collect uh, tracks with the same sonical attributes. So Archons is one of those darker tracks, but I would rather say it's it's more mystical, not necessarily darker. It's just darker compared to my usual sound, probably. Uh, and the title came from, and the whole concept of the track came from an old ancient religion, basically, which is not really popular. But it's about basically that there is seven archons who built the physical universe, and that's how we are I don't have a better word for it, but we are trapped in this physical universe. I don't really want to get into details, but I, I just love to read about these old religions and old Greek mythology as well. And I love to give these kind of hints to people. Um, Harin is the other darker track on the EP. Um, it's a collaboration with a good friend of mine from Hungary. His name is Gabor Kish. His artist name is Kiss, and this is gonna be his basically his very first release. Um, and I remember how we created it. He had really difficult times with his girlfriend, and we were like, "Yeah, just come over and and write out all these these dark dark vibes ourselves." And that's how we created it. Um, and Harin means shadow in Somali language. Uh, don't ask me why Somali, I think it just sounded great, that's why we chosen it. The last track on the EP is called By My Side, and it's definitely a more hopeful and bright track of the EP, and that's that's the reason actually of what, why I wanted to include it on the Ruby EP, because to show this diversity of, of emotions, the Ruby EP is basically a showcase of that kind of artistic freedom that I always wanted to reach when I'm able to create literally anything emotionally. And because one of the biggest teachings for me in the past few years were that true happiness is not when you are constantly happy and positive, but I think it actually is when you're able to go through the darker periods in, in your life and you're able to appreciate even the darker times because you realize that it's, it's just a great chance to, to, to be able to evolve and to learn a lot and to improve. Um, so for me, the Ruby EP is all about this, uh, evolving and improving myself. 
hope this is gonna resonate with many of you guys and hope you will enjoy it. I think the interview is over, guys. 